Hi, I'm Michael Madison, and I am a director of Delivered. Today we'll be interviewing Jeanette Steiner, who plays the part of Cindy. So Jeanette, tell us a little bit about your background. How did you wind up in Los Angeles, your acting background? I started acting in um, Scranton, Pennsylvania. I, was, I went to middle school and high school there. My first theatrical performance was as a mummy in Monster Mash. It was the whole nine years, like I was wrapped in toilet paper and everything. But after the performance, this little girl came up to me and she asked me, where did you learn to speak Egyptian? Like she thought I was speaking because I came up with this language this mummy would say and it was just hilarious. Um, so that's where I started and then I just couldn't get off the stage because it was so much fun. I decided that I wanted to do nothing more but act and so I went to Buffalo State College in New York for theater performance and I graduated summa cum laude and I had done all this theater and a little bit of film, student films, um, some independent films in Buffalo kind of piqued my interest and built a huge curiosity of what it would be like to do more film and be in a place that was so heavy and so focused on film acting and um, television acting. I decided that I had to know, so I came to LA after college. How long ago did you move to LA? I think it's 10 months now I've lived here. You know, you were one of the first people. Were you, were you one of the people that we cast off of uh, Facebook using video audition? Yeah. Tell us about that. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I had only been out in LA for a very short time, maybe two, three months. Um, I hit the ground running. And so I was on backstage.com, LA casting, all these things, and um, saw your phone, the call, and I submitted to it. The request was that I videotape myself doing this audition in my bikini because that was a rep requirement and then post it on Facebook which I thought was like really different and um, I was surprised by it and I but I was game um, so I did it it was the first time I'd ever done a video audition usually you get called to an audition you meet everyone in person and you know it's really nerve-wracking but this I had a little bit of control over I definitely did my audition like three times so it was really interesting I really liked it a lot I just think it helps. It helps. Yeah, it though, definitely right? helps. I mean, um, you could pick which audition you wanted to show. You right, know? and also like you got to see what worked and what didn't. And yeah. I got more comfortable on the camera, and which was important because I hadn't had much camera experience. And I just got to see myself on camera and kind of critique myself as as a piece of the puzzle, I guess. Yeah. How I would fit, how I could bring this character out best for this audition on video before I sent it to you. <laughs> Okay, so tell us what it was like to shoot Delivered. What were some of the challenges? What, were, what excited you? What, what motivated you? Well, Delivered was my first feature film, so that was so exciting and still so exciting because the process is still going on. I mean, imagine being out in LA, not knowing what you're going to do, and you're out here three months, and then all of a sudden you're cast in a feature film as a female lead nonetheless, and I was freaking out. I was like, yes! This Amazing! So it's very exciting and an independent nonetheless where everyone's busting their buns and um, in it for the art and really like the learning curve. Um, so every moment of being on the set I wanted to be involved in everything and I was just soaking up everything that I could and you know looking for direction and information and I just wanted to learn, 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 learn. So it was really exciting to see how an independent production functions, how you meet the requirements of making a film under a very low budget, um, how everyone, you know, regardless of their title, has to help out in many aspects of the film just to get it to work, get it to up on its feet. But that also brought challenges, definitely. For me, being a theatrical actress, um, I'm so used to a rehearsal process. and. I had to do a lot of that on my own, and then coming to the set, you know, you have, were wearing so many hats, and most of my scenes are with you, and then you are the lead actor, the producer, the director, a lot of other things, you were the go-to guy, so working on my character and staying ready and focused on the scene at hand was really, really important for me, for you, and the success of our scene work. So that was challenging, but I learned a tremendous amount of how to be a professional actor. Do you have a favorite scene that you worked on or favorite part of the film or <laughs> Yes. 
Um, surprisingly, my favorite scene was definitely the most physical scene. It was um, my scene with Brendan Walsh. That was definitely my most favorite scene because the intensity was so high. He was great to work with in this. Um, just the, the conflict was so intense and the emotions were so intense and raw and, and dangerous and exciting. But it was fantastic because I had a mutual trust with this actor and um, we had a lot of fun, believe it or not, with this really raunchy, terrible predicament. And trying to capture that on film, I mean, geez, it was great. What kind of things did you get to do on Delivered? Um, Delivered opened a lot of doors for me, like, um, I never thought I'd be in Pear Blossom, California, in the middle of the desert, getting attacked by bugs <laughs> in this very interesting Pear Blossom hotel that was so rich, so rich um, for the movie, for the character, for everybody. I think we all have experiences to share about that. I got to drive a 67 Mustang. So cool. I don't think many people can say that they've done that. I got to, I learned how to shoot a Glocker 9mm. That's pretty badass. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it was definitely awesome. And talked by Chick Daniel nonetheless, a very experienced weathered actor out here in LA. Uh, his influence was really great um, and continues to be really helpful. What else? I mean, traveling to Hollywood Hills, just being on location, and I just got to see a lot of things and meet a lot of people and learn a lot in a very short time. That I'm just so blessed and I'm so lucky to have done that. I'm very grateful.